In this video, you're going to learn how to calculate the mean, variance, and standard deviation of probability distribution. What is mean of discrete random variable? The mean of a discrete random variable x is also called the expected value of x. It is the weighted average of all the possible values of the random variable x. The expected value of x is denoted by E of x. The mean is computed using the formula E of x equals summation of x times P of x, where capital X is the discrete random variable, small x is outcome or value of the random variable, and P of x is the probability of the outcome x. How about the variance and standard deviation of discrete random variable? The variance of a discrete random variable can be determined by subtracting the square of its mean from the summation of the products of the squares of the outcomes and their corresponding probabilities. The variance is computed using the formula variance equals summation of x squared px minus the square of the summation of x px. The standard deviation of a discrete random variable x is the square root of the variance. Let us now have an example on how to find the mean, the variance, and standard deviation of probability distribution. Let us take the given probability distribution. First, let us make a table of values. We are going to add three columns. The first column for x, p, x, or the product of x and p of x. The next column for the square of x, or that is x squared. And the last column, we have the product of x squared and p of x, that is x squared, p, x. Let us now complete the table. First, we have x times p of x, or that is the product of the first column and the second column. 1 times 15 hundredths equals 15 hundredths. 2 times 25 hundredths, that is 50 hundredths. Then 3 times 30 hundredths, that is 90 hundredths. 4 times 15 hundredths, that is 60 hundredths, 5 times 10 hundredths equals 50 hundredths, 6 times 5 hundredths equals 30 hundredths. Next, we have the square of x or x squared, that is 1 times 1 or 1 squared equals 1. Next, value of x is 2, so we have 2 squared equals 4. The next value of x is 3, so we have 3 squared equals 9. Next value, we have 4, that is 4 squared equals 16. Then 5, we have 5 squared equals 25. 6 or 6 squared equals 36. The next column, we have the product of x squared px, that is the third column, times the first column. So we have 1 
as the x squared and p of x is 15 hundredths that is 1 times 15 hundredths equals 15 hundredths next we have the second value of x squared is 4 times p of x which is 25 hundredths so we have 4 times 25 hundredths that is equal to 1 next value we have 9 times 30 hundredths we have 2 and 7 tenths next is 16 times 15 hundredths we have 2 and 4 tenths Next is 25 times 10 hundredths equals 2 and 5 tenths. And the last we have 36 times 5 hundredths that is equal to 1 and 8 tenths. After completing the table, next is to find the summation of x, px. We simply add the values under x px that is 15 hundredths plus 50 hundredths plus 90 hundredths plus 60 hundredths plus 50 hundredths and 30 hundredths we have 2 and 95 hundredths we also need to find the summation of x squared p of x so adding 15 hundredths 1 2 and 7 tenths, 2 and 4 tenths, 2 and 5 tenths, plus 1 and 8 tenths, that is equal to 10 and 55 hundredths. We need these two values in calculating the mean, the variance, and standard deviation of probability distribution. Let us now find the mean, the variance, and standard deviation. We have here the values of the summation of x, p, x, and the summation of x squared, p of x. To compute the mean, we use the formula summation of x or e of x equals summation of e or x px that is equivalent to 2 and 95 hundredths for the variance we are going to use the formula summation of x squared p of x minus summation of x p of x squared since the value of x squared p of x summation of x squared p of x is 10 and 55 hundredths we substitute this in the formula so we have equals 10 and 55 hundredths minus the summation of x p x which is equal to 2 and 95 hundredths and square Simplifying it further, we have 10 and 55 hundredths minus the square of 2 and 95 hundredths. 2 and 95 hundredths times 2 and 95 hundredths is equal to 8 and 7,025 ten thousands. That is equivalent to 1 and 8,475 ten thousands or approximately 1 and 85 hundredths next is the variance how do we compute the variance the variance is the square root of uh, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance the computed value of the variance is 1 and 8475 therefore the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 1 and 8,475 or approximately, or we have 1 and 3,592,277 
10 millions and that is approximately 1 and 36 hundredths so that is how to find the mean the variance and standard deviation